tell me how you use blogging um, in your teaching? Yes, um, in the second year we have a branding project and at the same time um, we also let the students get involved in, in blogging. Um, it's, it's a branding and PR project and in fashion as you probably know it's such a fast moving industry that you have to be absolutely on it with what's happening almost before it's happened. Um, a lot of our students actually come to us already with blogs now, which is interesting. So a lot of them aren't even taught. They could almost teach us um, how to do it. And, and do uh, what makes a student blog credible in the eyes of somebody um, in the industry? I think really how professional it is. Um, if they're professional... Um, photos on it, if um, you know it's intelligently done. We, we have got some very good students who are picked up by other blogs because they are just totally professional. Um, like for instance we've got two performance sportswear third year um, who, boys who are identical twins and their uh, blog is We Are The Twins and that is, I think you could probably ask them yourselves, but it has a most enormous following. Do you assess any of the student blogs? Not directly, no. So, how do it's they... part It's part of a project and, for instance, if even in the first year, if we're having a project on, for instance, we do a jeans project, which is designing a five-pocket pair of jeans, sometimes the students, they do PowerPoint presentations here rather than assessing flat work, so every design project they actually get up and present. And some of them do make short films and blogs that we allow them to as part of the process. Okay. But it's not, in the first year, it's not uh, mandatory they have to, to do that. But in the second year, it is. And, you know, some of them, some of them really enjoy doing it and some of them don't. So um, you get quite a wide variety how of you, standards. How do you encourage the ones who don't enjoy doing it? Um, well, really just say, saying it's just incredibly important in the fashion and performance sportswear industry and when they leave, they will be following blogs, you know, um, it's all part of the sort of fashion forecasting network and sort of futurology of, of fashion. But you can't, you can't force, and if they find it difficult, um, I don't really want to force them either because they'll probably do very bad blogs. So what kind of skills do students need to produce a good blog? Um... Obviously be IT savvy, which again, um, again a lot of them come with that now, um, you know, through school they're taught quite, quite a lot of that and we have, um, we have no direct teaching actually on IT, IT as such. We do CAD, which is computer aided design, but that's very, very specialised because it's actually, um, drawing um, garments by, by computer, but that's not really, you know, on the blogging side we find they can just sort of pick it up and do it. And have any of your students had any sort of real successes in terms of being discovered through their blogs or getting work through their blogs? Well, yes, we had a, a student, a graduate, uh, two years ago called Hayley Scott, who was a, a real, you know, she was blogging before many people sort of knew about it. And she contacted me recently, and she's now the social media expert for Bowdoin catalogues. So she's in charge of all their social media and blogging for Bowdoin and Facebooking and all the rest of it. So that, that's been really good, actually, because she never particularly wanted to be a fashion designer. She knew she wanted to go more into sort of PR and marketing side of fashion. So you definitely see it as an employability tool. Oh, it? yes, yeah. Not for everybody, not for everybody, but... Um, for certain people, it, like for instance with Hayley, or probably the twins, it will be a real benefit. You say that this, a lot of students come with their own blog, mm. perhaps, or, or mm. with the, the skills already. Yes. What, what does the course give them in terms of sort of higher education input to help them improve their blogs? We don't have separate, a separate model for professional practice. It's actually embedded from when they begin, because I come from the fashion industry myself, so I'm not really... Sounds awful, I'm not really an educationalist. So um, every, every project um, 
the industry is embedded, if you like. Also, all the lecturers here come from the industry. So it's almost by osmosis that they learn how to be professional, like visually, you know, written, whatever. We were pretty scrupulous in what they, they turn out. They, they know the mechanics of it, mm. but we just actually, if you like, aesthetically help them. Okay. And I suppose we help them with the sort of what they actually put out there, the sort of literacy side of it, but we don't we don't as such have a you know, this is how you blog. It's quite interesting in itself though, and I sort of you know, I love the bit you just said about, you know, it being by osmosis and it's all embedded because I think, you know It is all yes. It is all embedded. That's what needs to happen. Yes, know? yes. In other places. Yes. Know? And as I said, some of them absolutely love it. Some of them, you, they're almost blogging too much and not doing their studio work. Well, actually, that's not true. The twins, they're workaholics, they do everything. And other people really just don't want to. And it doesn't matter if they don't want to because there are jobs in fashion where you you don't have to blog yourself. But I think you, you need to follow blogs. You do need to follow blogs because you just know what's happening, you know. And there's some very famous fashion blogs. Um, that have almost got cult status. Um, so I was going to say the, um, the most famous blog is the Sartorialist blog, do you know? It's started by this guy called Scott Schumann, who's American, and no one knew what he looked like because he's so secretive. And he is at any fashion event, he just gets in there and he'll blog about it. And he's like almost a bit like um, Banksy. No one knows really what he looks like but he's there and you know, reporting all the time and it might be quite interesting for a particular fashion photography student of ours managed to get a photo of him at London Fashion Week which is almost unheard of. Did that go on their blog? That went on their blog and the fashion photography students they're actually they're really good at blogging I get blogs from them all the time 